Hey guys, welcome back to One More Time. My name's Nate. And I'm Steph. And today we're going to be talking about the Seiko SLA-033. That's right. We've had this guy for about two weeks now and we are ready to give you the lowdown. That means the good, the bad, and of course, the ugly. So All let's right. let's go good. Yeah, let's start with the good. So overall, it's awesome having such a thin watch with an 8 all 35 movement. It's comfortable on the wrist and it keeps great time. I love it. So the bezel, shining point of the watch. It's got clear points of engagement. It lines up perfectly, and there's no play whatsoever. And icing on the cake, it's got a beautiful chamfered and polished edge, which is something I've never seen on a Seiko before. Next, we have the case. So the case is beautiful in the sense that the top is brushed and transitions to a polished edge on the side, then to brushing on the bottom. So it has really cool transitions, and as well as lines along the side while still being a cushion case. It's awesome. Next, we have the loom, right? So for you loom, loom junkies shot. out there, yeah, we'll have a loom shot in there. And for <laughs> your loom junkies out there, this thing is nuclear. Typical Seiko affair. It's gonna glow for hours, it's gonna be bright, and it's green. So for you, for those of you true to the 6105, you might not like the green aspect of it, but for those of you that like Seiko loom, you're gonna love it. Okay. Next, we have the the bad. Yes, the bad. <laughs> so the bad side of the watch would have to be the the band. And not the band itself, but where the band meets the lugs. There is a one millimeter gap. Now, I don't know if the band's just a little small, the lugs are a little big, but that gap does add a little bit of play to the band. And from a visual standpoint, close up, it does come off as unappealing, especially at the price point for the watch. Sure. Now this isn't something a casual viewer will notice, it's more something an owner of the watch will notice. So on the wrist, not really that bad, but for someone who owns the watch and stares at it a lot, <laughs> they'll, they'll probably pick bad. it up. Yeah, S small problem. Then we have the crown. The crown, although it's great, it's screw-in, the guards on the crown really make it difficult to turn. You really gotta use your fingernails to turn it, and it's kind of frustrating having this at the time. So if this is a watch you're not gonna wear every day, I would definitely consider that. Finally, we have the engraving on the back. The engraving on the back, yes. Yeah, so lack thereof. the lack thereof, yeah. They use laser laser etching on the back, which is nice because it's more comfortable. But again, at the price point, it really would have been nice to see an engraved back on that watch. And they did use high polishing on the back too. And although it has die shield coating, it can still scratch. And high polishing really shows scratches. Yeah. Yeah. But overall, it's a great watch. I love it. It has drilled lugs, it's comfortable on the wrist, it's thin, it has an 8L35 movement, nuclear Seiko loom, can't go wrong with it. All right, so last but not least, do you think there's anything ugly about the watch? Anything ugly about the watch? Oh yes, that is such a point of contention. So when I was first looking at this watch, I showed it to my wife, because I have to get approval on everything, right? And <laughs> Although you still didn't get approval from me. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay, <laughs> so sometimes. You just showed me the gossip. <laughs> And she looked at it and she's like, wow, that case is ugly. And when she said that, she was referring to the cushion case and how much material on the top of the watch is surrounding the bezel. And yeah, that's a lot of metal around that bezel. That watch wow. case is thick. And yeah, that made me a little uncomfortable and I did have my reservations about buying it, but I'm glad I did. Because when you put that watch on the wrist, it comes together so nicely. It, it's just really well balanced. Yeah, off the wrist, the proportions might look a little off. And I think Seiko is aware of that, as they did do good transitions. You got the polished bezel edge, and then they broke it up by doing brushing on the top of the case. Yeah. And it works out great. Yeah, from, it goes from looking a little wonky to definitely working. Mm -hmm. So it's all good. All right, so don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on those notification alerts for our channel. Follow us on Instagram at watch one more time. Um, and don't forget to comment down below with any questions, comments, concerns, really whatever you need. We're here for you. Um, and in our description box, you can go ahead and there's a link to our unboxing video for this watch. All right. Catch you guys on the tick side. Bye, guys.
Hey, Chloe, we got a joke for all our Seiko fans. What, what, kind of, what kind of watches do my dogs like? Yeah. Paw Specs Divers. Get it? Because they're on your paws. Ha, 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 ha.